Hello and welcome to City News Daily on City TV. My name is Peola Kanya Ofori. Coming up today, National Youth Organizer of the NDC sues Deputy General Secretary of the New Patriotic Party and two others. We'll tell you why shortly. Stay with us. Police in the Ashanti region say they have arrested over 20 people for allegedly brutalizing a lady suspected to have stolen 1,100 CDs in Edum in the central business district of Kumasi. The said incident, which was captured in a video footage, went viral on social media and subsequently drew anger from the public. The suspect was seen stripping the lady naked, beating and touching her private part. The police says they are investigating the matter. The national organizer of the opposition National Democratic Congress, Kofi Adams, has sued the Deputy General Secretary of the New Patriotic Party, Nanao Bribwahin, and two others who are alleging that he stole vehicles belonging to the state. The others are Kwame Bafo, the Bnoa Hafu youth organizer of the NPP, and David Asante, a member of the NPP's communications team. It is recalled that two land cruisers and three pickups were confiscated in the wake of allegations that some state assets were in the possession of some officials of the previous government. Nana Obribwahin expressed displeasure with the decision, saying the Criminal Investigations Department failed to do due diligence in establishing the truth before releasing the cars to Kofi Adams. Kofi Adams, in his rate dated February 22, said that Mr. Bwain's comment was defamatory against his personality. He's praying the court for an order for an unconditional retraction and an unqualified apology. And he's demanding one million CD Ghana cities each from the three. A former power minister under the Maham administration, Kwabna Donko, has described as unfortunate plans by the NPP government to put Gritko on the stock market. Yesterday, the president, Nana Ekufuad, said his government may consider listing Gritko and the Voter River Authority on the stock market as part of processes to develop a national electricity master plan. But Kwabna Donko says he disagrees. Well, yesterday, the president also added that government is conducting a review of all the power agreement entered into by the previous government in order to prioritize renegotiate, defer or cancel outright if necessary. Now, Dr. Kwabna Donko says that this is a step in the right direction. Today, the opposition National Democratic Congress held a press conference and reacted to some of the things Nanado said at yesterday's State of the Nation address. Here are excerpts. He also was dead silent on investment and programs that resulted in the first major economic event of the administration, which was the naming of the FPSO John Ajekum Kufo by the first lady of the Republic in Singapore barely two weeks ago. So when he comes, works in debt. Ghana's debt have increased. He should at least have acknowledged that part of the debt is the investment in the FPSO, which is a major investment in the energy and gas infrastructure, which will contribute to guarantee the energy security of our country. And that's how we wrap up today's edition of City News Daily on City TV. My name is Pierre Lacanio. For for more news, visit tv.cityfmonline.com. Thanks for your time. Bye. Second image international admissions in progress. Courses available include hairdressing, beauty therapy and fashion. Call us 1024-331-999. Evening and weekend classes are also available.